save, save it to the same directory and call it XOR. <coughs> and uh, close i can start a new schematic to build um, to build the uh, uh, pop adder right save as h a not using that anymore f2 uh, it's actual logic plus a Analogic. Okay. It's fine. So this one, I, I make the names uh, visible, but this one, you didn't make it visible, which is okay. It's, it's not a big deal because the all the pin names in the lower layer is not going to affect anything on the upper layer, which is over here. Okay. So uh, here, is still not the final schematic you want to simulate or signal because you are still trying to build another device, which is a half fighter. So you need, so the half fighter has A, B, and, uh, oh, just A, B, two inputs, a three, yeah. a two inputs, two outputs. So we need a A, B, and the S and CI. So just connect them together. That's A, that's B, and that's the S. And CI will be this and this, so that's that. And also, these names are not uh, valid anymore in this layer. So, rename it. Damn it, something is wrong. Okay. Uh, B high, B low. Copy, copy. <clears throat> so that's C out, or C out. APS C out. Save, create a new symbol from this guy. So this is either because you just need a um, block, a box. It's easy, easy to draw. Okay. Right. And I put a text inside. HA. And HA has definitely power for the HA. And two inputs, two outputs. That's not really straight. Now it pins.
safe. Name it as HA. They are pretty much done with all the schematics, uh, all the devices you need. And then start a new schematic, save it in the same directory and call it HA underscore scene. So that's a simulation schematic. Now you can bring all these parts in, in there. But actually you just need a HA. Since you're gonna verify the logic with HA. Okay. You need voltages from the regular library. One, two, three. <clears throat> and just call it uh, VDD here for this guy and A and B. Or I can use a different name like VA, VB. And ground them here, 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 here. Uh, and VDD. And VAVB. Five volts. So for to verify the logic, you actually just need uh, four input patterns because you have two inputs uh, from zero, zero to one, one. If you want to do it in one simulation, you can use a pulse. Feel free to add a little okay. delay to it. So VR is five volts. Time delay is zero for the first one. T rise is one nano, T force one nano. TI is one micro, 2.1 micro. So that's the first one. And the second one, just add a little delay to that to make all these combinations. So I can directly copy this and go to here, use a pause, but I don't put anything in there, so I can copy and paste. Time delay, uh, because up here is 2.1 micro seconds. I can probably just do a one microsecond time delay. So I should be able to create all these input combinations. Uh, and don't forget this. S and C out. Okay, save. No, save. And then do a transient, transient analysis. Uh, I just do a 10 micro second analysis and I want to include models.txt. Okay, save and run. XOR. B high. Oh, GH, not HG. <laughs> Sorry. Typo. So let's go to there and fi fix it. <clears throat> v high. Um, all right, so that's a symbol. So I have to go back to the symbol, which is the XOR symbol here. All right, let's keep working on this. The so Wi-Fi is out again. Sorry for that. So I just fix the name, the typo here, and save it, close it. Uh, open up the simulation schematic I just created. It should be on the on the desktop, so it's over here. Let me run this again. All right, so now that works. 
I'm going to probe the two inputs and the two outputs. I need to create, create uh, four, no, actually three extra plot pins. VA, VB, VS, rerun it. Let's see if that works. Hmm. Something is wrong here. So, oh, I don't want the one microsecond time delay because that's exactly 50% of the, of the period. You need a shorter one. So let's do 0 0.5. Yeah, run it, should be problem free this time. All right, let's check. Let me change the range first so you can see the signals. All right, let's check. Here, one plus zero is one zero. One plus one is zero one, carry, right? One plus one is zero, uh, is zero one. Zero plus one is one zero, which is right. Zero plus zero is zero zero, which is also right. Okay, so this is how you do the half fighter. So it's similar, pretty similar principle when you are creating the fighter to run the simulation. But the thing is, you will have three inputs for the um, three inputs for the fighter. So what I so for example, you have another one. Imagine there will be more combinations of the inputs. No, I'm just showing you. We don't have a half fighter, a fighter here. So if you have a, another input, if you want to verify all the input patterns, all the logic inputs, you need eight combinations of the inputs, which is pretty challenging if you want to run it in one simulation. So what I'm going to do is I will run two simulations. Uh, you set, you keep using the same pulse over here, but you just set CI input carry to be zero at the first time you run it so you verify the logic when ci is zero and you run another simulation and you set ci to be one so in that case you can divide the eight input patterns into two four input combinations uh, which is easier to manage okay so this is how you simulate the, the full letter using the same uh, technique over here i just showed you in this video right uh, let me know if you have any other questions so i'm gonna send upload the video to youtube and at the same time uh send the files all the same as i just created in the video to you so you can start from here which is gonna be a little bit easier all right talk to you later